Meanwhile, an apprentice at the Royal Sussex Hospital in Brighton has won an award for her work, which has helped with the way patients with COVID are treated. Megan Crefield and her training mentor, Anne Trezais, are with us now. Megan, very good afternoon. Well, very good afternoon to you both. Now, this is an award for outstanding achievement. So what did you do exactly? And I do not want you being humble at all. Give us the full gambit. What did you do? Good afternoon. Um, (laughs) What did I do? I basically work in a laboratory at the Royal Sussex County Hospital where we do routine blood tests and some more unusual blood tests. And um, I was doing my dissertation and during my dissertation, um, I was very lucky enough to have come across some research during the first lockdown, um, research from Wuhan and Italy about a test that we didn't offer in England very commonly and I was able to kind of um, set up the laboratory I work in to offer that test to help frontline healthcare workers and uh, doctors um, alongside many other tests obviously um, decide what what treatment different COVID levels of COVID um, patients would require. Okay and and I see here it says that prior to the path lab you were working in a bar is that right? Yeah, yeah. I worked in a blues bar where um, I got to listen to lovely saxophone solos every Friday night. So um, a little bit of a career change. Yeah. So how how did that come? Did you just have a kind of epiphany moment where I thought, no, I need to get myself in a white coat. This is what I need to do. (laughs) Yeah, I do have a very different uniform. Being a barmaid and being a scientist is a a very different kind of dress code. (laughs) I um, I was a young parent. I had two young boys and I got a little bit fed up working nights and weekends which is ironic because I work them again now as a as a scientist and I um, had some kind of A-levels in the scientific field and um, I was very lucky to live near um, the Royal Sussex County Hospital which is a, a teaching hospital and I applied for a part-time job um, just a job that fitted around my childcare hours um, in a laboratory as a medical laboratory assistant And once I got here, I realized that they had a really, really nice pathway from bringing their junior members of staff up through to that kind of degree level qualification. And uh, I applied and I was selected to go on that pathway. And um, yeah, I never imagined back when I was working in a blues bar that I'd be getting an award for um, a scientific kind of thing I've done which oh. is bizarre, but amazing. It is bizarre and amazing and all those things all at once. Congratulations to you, Megan. Let's bring in Anne Trezise now, your training mentor. So Anne, from your point of view, what difference has Megan made? Well, absolutely. Um, she's been working and learning on the job. So she's made a valuable contribution just to the daily routine tests that we do and the routine running of the lab, but also... Um, she's now added this value um, and to our test repertoire. Um, so we've got um, the full career progression here. So um, she's she's been very supportive to the service all the way through. So she's been learning on the job, which is really good. And so, so this is an, a, an apprenticeship degree, effectively? Absolutely. It's an apprentice um, programme, which is part-time study, which, which fits in very nicely for some people. I mean, there are lots of different career routes into biomedical science, but um, this is the most flexible one and, and obviously works for Megan. Yeah. And, and I have children. <laughs> and you have children. And that's what I was going to say, because for, for many, you would have thought that almost it's, it would kind of rule it out to a certain degree. But if somebody's listening now, I don't know, working in a blues bar and wanting to don some goggles and a white lab coat, what would you suggest, Anne? Um, yeah, have a look at your um, qualifications and see where they could slot into that to that career ladder. Um, we have people coming up, uh, I think Megan did a foundation degree and worked her way up. People come in with A-levels, um, come in with all, all levels of qualifications. But there's usually a route you can do. It takes a long time sometimes, but they get there in the end. Amazing stuff. Well, thank you both. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Megan Crefield there and her training mentor, Anne Trezise. It's just coming up to 20 minutes past five.